What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is Dave Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! All right, we're coming back to Bandmade. Yes, indeed. Bandmade fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor. Before you do all those things, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Mason, and this is actually Mason's prioritized request for the month of December for being a Silver Tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Mason. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Mason wanted to see me react to this song by Bandmade called influencer now have i heard the song before no i have not to the best of my knowledge this does not resonate with me in any way shape or form however there's always a possibility i may have heard the song in passing and i just don't realize it so as always if i start listening to the song and i suddenly go wait a minute time out this sounds familiar i'll let you know that's the truth you know me i'm gonna be honest with you guys this was posted by Bandmade, okay? And this was impressive. I, I don't normally mention stuff like this, but I, I am gonna mention this. Apparently, this song just dropped a little while ago. Uh, at the time of the request, the song had only been out for three weeks. And in three weeks, the video has accumulated 814,336 views in just three weeks. That'll get you there. For no no question whatsoever, it'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Bandmade. Influencer official music video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Taking into account that the word official appears, taking into account it's coming off the band's official page, and taking into account that this is like a brand new song, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm kind of expecting this video to get blocked. <laughs> I'm kind of expecting it. I really hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't get blocked, but. I don't know, man. We're gonna have to wait and see. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Kane really, really putting out that gala feel on the drums. Love that. Oh, there she is. <laughs> hey there. Uh, now she's doing a great job of that dun, 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 on those toms, man. Yeah. Good feel. Good, good feel for the song. Um, I like the energy. I like the drive. I like the direction. If I'm being honest, 
I'm not terribly thrilled with the mix. It sounds very polished, like extremely, like overly polished. Like they, they put wax on top of wax on top of wax on top of wax. <laughs> And then they put sealer on top of it. You know what I mean? It 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 it, it sounds great. Don't get me wrong. It, it sounds fantastic, but it sounds a little overly polished. I like I like hearing them when they were at a little bit more of a raw sound. This sounds extremely processed. So I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of that. I don't know. I mean, but the song itself, the songwriting sounds good. I, I'm digging the songwriting. I'm digging the execution of the song by all the musicians. I got no issue with anything that the girls are doing, but the post-production is, whoo, <laughs> it is super slick. Um, let's keep going here. Let's see where this goes. I'm hearing two very distinctly different vocal mixes in the verses. Uh, in the verses, Psyche's vocals are not nearly as polished sounding, not nearly as processed sounding. They do sound a little more raw, and I like that. When they go to the courses, though, they become just squeaky clean. Like, like I said, it's like polishing a diamond. Like, it's just, you can only, how much more can you polish that thing? It's already gleaming, and yet there's still putting polish on it. It's like, why? There's no reason to do that. There's no point to do that. I, I just, I, I feel like it's a little overpolished, if I'm being honest here. I love the vocals in the verses. The vocals in the choruses, not the biggest fan of. And it's not because of anything that Psyche's doing wrong. It's not, it, she has nothing to do with it. It's post-production. I hate it when engineers just, they keep, polishing and polishing i'm like stop it's rock it's supposed to have some edge to it it's supposed to have some rawness to it you keep polishing it and it's gonna i hate to say it but there comes a point where when you polish it so much it starts to lose some of its rock and it starts to ever so slightly creep into the world of pop and i'm really hoping that doesn't happen in the future with these girls. I, I really, oh God, please no. Please no. Solo nice solos from both ladies. Uh, Misa with a great bass solo. Kind of taking a flea approach with those octave popping slaps. You know, popping the upper note, slapping the bottom note. 
you know it's very flea-ish that's like the flea riff you know playing those octave you know pop to slap pop to slap um or in flea's case flea will actually go slap to pop slap to pop he'll always thump first before he pops um she kind of took that approach there with the octaves very nice and then she did, went with the pick up on the neck really nice really nice approach good little little melodic line there and then uh, Konami came in with a guitar solo, very complimentary. Uh, obviously, you're not going to pop and slap on a guitar, but you know, playing very complimentary stylistically to what to what Misa did. So there was that connection. Very nice, very very nice. Um, I like that section. I like the solo sections. Let's uh, let's finish this out, and we'll get to the review. <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to go. I'm going to have to think. Take everything into account here. Oh, man. Uh, this might be in the sevens. This might be in the eights. This might be in the nines. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea where this is going to go. Uh... Shoot. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Ben Made with Influencer. This was a request from Mason, and this was actually Mason's prioritized request for the month of December for being a Silver Tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, Mason. I hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, and for those of you uh, who are big Ben Made fans who were wanting me to react to this, make sure you thank Mason, because two things. One... Um, Mason spent his prioritized request to get this to the top of the queue as quickly as possible, so definitely thank him for that. Number two, um, Mason's the only person that actually made this an official request. I had so many people in the comments saying, react to this, react to this, react to this, and guys, no one was making an official request. Nobody. Nobody went on the Patreon page and said, we want to see this. No one did. Everybody was just in the comments saying, you know, you need to react to this, you need to react to this, G guys. <laughs> There is a cue, and there is a reason for the cue. So if you want me to react to a song, there's the right way, and there's the wrong way. So listen, I, I want to do what you guys want. I, I, I do. I, I, I want to give you guys what you want, but at the same time, there are rules to the channel that we have to follow, okay? So nothing personal, nothing against any of you guys, but if you want something, you got to follow the rules, okay? It's, it's that simple. Um... I thought about this, and now here's the thing. I, I thought about this for a little bit longer than I thought I was going to have to. I thought I was going to have to spend, like, maybe five, ten minutes tops. No, I spent about, how much time did I, I spent about 17 minutes thinking about this, and really weighing the pros and the cons. And, and there were some cons. There were a couple cons. I know a lot of people going, band made with cons? Never! Well, believe it or not, yeah, there's a couple cons. But not many. Only a couple. And they really didn't affect the score that much, if I'm being honest. They, they, they did affect the score slightly, but not as much as people might be thinking. Let me start with giving the score first. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that an 8.4. Yep, 8.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? It's a great song. Okay, let me just come out and let me just say that right off the gun. It is a great song. I see a ton of commercial appeal in this song. This song can be used for a lot of different things. This song, I, believe it or not, I can see the song being used in commercials. I could. Those instrumental parts in particular. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Like, shoe. Like a shoe commercial. Yeah. 
I can see, I can, I, I can absolutely see Nike picking this up, or Adidas picking this up. I, I absolutely could. Um, <clears throat> it has a lot of potential for commercial value. It's a banging song. It is. It's got a great pulse, great energy, great drive. I love the gallop feel on the drums from Akane. The din 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 on the toms, man. God, that was good. Dug that really helped accent and push and drive the song forward. Um, the bass playing from Misa on this was was great. Loved that little bass solo that she got. That was fantastic. Uh, doing the the flea pattern, the octave slapping and popping, and then on the second half of it, going up on the neck with a pick, really nice, showing that diversity that she has. Uh, the guitar solo from Konami, it sounded really good. I, I, it was very conducive to what uh, Misa played, and it, it fit. It absolutely fit. It wasn't like she went on this on this total skew and did her own thing. Now she she kept her solo within the confines of the the feeling of the song. So she did a great job. Um, Miko on rhythm guitar, I, if, if I'm being honest, I mean, the rhythm guitar was there, I heard it. It sounded good, nothing sounded bad, it sounded solid. I would never say in a million years it sounded impressive, but it, it did, it sounded good, so I'll, I'll give her that, absolutely. Uh, the vocalizations, the vocals, uh, I don't, I, I think me, I, I think, uh, I think Miku was doing backing vocals on this, I, I'm pretty sure, I, I, it sounded like two distinct voices. Um, Two differently distinct voices. So I, I'm willing to bet that Miku did have a hand in the backing vocals on this. And that and that's fine. And they sounded fine. Uh the lead vocals. What what Psyche was singing. Okay, here's here's where I really have to be careful with what I say. What Psyche was singing, how she was singing, the notes that she was singing, the note selection, and how she sang them. I have absolutely no issue with whatsoever. I think she did a fine job. Okay, I do. I think she did an outstanding job with her vocals. What we heard, though, at times, sounded a little too squeaky clean. Now, is that her fault? No. That is all post-production. There were times in her vocals, like in the verses, where it didn't sound super polished. Like, it, it sounded polished. Don't get me wrong. It, it did sound polished, but it didn't sound like overly processed, squeaky clean, super polished. Like, <laughs> nothing would stick to it. Um, I liked the verses. I liked the verses. Anywhere that she was singing that was not the chorus. Because it, it felt to me like they weren't nearly as touched up and super polished and like the choruses were. The choruses, if I'm being honest, guys, they were borderline poppy. Like, you really kind of walked up that line, engineers. You really brought it to that point of no return. They didn't cross, but boy, did they bring it right to the line. Like, they put their toes on the line. That was scary. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I heard those choruses, I was, I was starting to get worried because I was like, this is getting a little too polished. It's getting a little too clean and rock should have a little bit of a dirt, a little bit of a, a grime, a little bit of a gravel to it. Not not super sparkly clean, you know what I mean? So I was a fan of the verses. I did enjoy the verses. I loved everything that she sang and vocalized that wasn't the chorus. The choruses though, I just, eh. And like I said, that's not her fault. It's nothing that she did wrong, that's engineering. But unfortunately, engineering is part of the song. So yeah, the score did come down just a little bit because of those couple of spots. Not a lot, not a lot. We're talking about the difference between like an 8.6 to an 8.4. I mean, that's literally the difference. That's how much the, the score changed. Not a big change at all, but it it, it did. It, it did affect the score, unfortunately. Uh, no, overall, I, I can see how this got 814,000 views in just three weeks. I, I can absolutely see that. Am I going to sit here and say this is my new favorite bandmate song? No, I'm not going to do that. Listen, I know a lot of reactors do, and I know a lot of reactors jump on the bandwagon whenever a song comes out, and they, you know the next day there's a reaction to it, if not that day. 
You know, I and, and listen that they're gonna do their thing and they're they're gonna do what they're gonna do and that's fine. I, I that's if they're happy doing that, then you know more power to them. But I I'm just not gonna be that way. I'm just not. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys because I do feel you deserve my honest opinion. You don't need me lying to you. If you want someone lying to you, you got hundreds of other reaction channels you can go and watch. Uh, no, I'm, I'm gonna give it to you straight and I'm, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think. And I, I do believe this is a great song without question. I do believe it's a great song. There's a lot of great things happening in it. And I talked about those things. But at the same time, I do feel that the mix was a little bit of an issue. And it, it unfortunately, it is part of the song. That is a, that is an aspect that I do take into account. So the score did come down slightly. Not a lot. Did that, did that make me hate the song? No, I still like the song. Absolutely. I still believe it's a great song. Just wish they had done a little more grit, a little more dirt on the, on the choruses. That's it. But other than that, that's the only thing I can think of, guys. In all honesty, it, it's a great song. 8.4 is where we're at, and 8.4 is where we're going to stay. So, 8.4, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.